too. And that's all. That's as far as I got. We just. How old were you? I was maybe 18, maybe like the year I graduated high school. We were doing coke with uh, the sub, one of our substitutes. And was he a homosexual or she, not? No, it was a chick. It was a woman. Yeah, she was wow. just. Um, sub, subs of the end, dude. What class? She was an English sub, so she was an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so she wasn't smart. She was probably trying to go out and sniff some coke and, you know, fuck her way into the lower middle class. She was fuck her way into a little Levitt house in Long Island. Good woman. <laughs> well, I don't know if those songs are gonna last. This is what all old people say. You know what I'm saying? They're Have like, you seen the back new in video? The day, like Ed Sheeran's a no, fucking but, but, yeah. monster. No, no, he is. That's yeah, true. literally, he's it's a monster. He's a literal <laughs> monster. From, <laughs> no, he looks like he lives under a bridge. <laughs> this is what I love about like this is, and you'll understand this because you've been in the business for a long time. Like Ed Sheeran's a guy that fucks everybody up who just goes, "Well, yeah, man, you just got to be hot." She's got to be hot and you'll succeed. Yeah. And then you see that bridge troll <laughs> selling out arenas. With and you're eye? like, oh, nothing ma nothing means anything. Everything's chaos. I don't even know yeah, why. Yeah. Well, he's like, good. He's legitimately He's good, good, but it's like it, it would make you feel better if he looked like Shawn Mendes. So you could go, well, of course. Yeah. But then you look at this guy. You're like, oh, I guess anyone can succeed. <laughs> Literally anyone. <laughs> I mean, he looks like a Make-A-Wish kid who didn't die. And When did you start doing comedy? 2010. What made you get up? What made me do it the first time? Yeah. I was in the mortgage business, and uh, in 2009. College educated? Uh, no, dropped out of community college uh, to do Percocet and sell subprime mortgages in Long Island, which I still believe is the what I will return to. Uh, <laughs> I believe stand-up is a sabbatical from my true calling, which is to work in a strip mall. Uh, and have great lunches, serious lunches, oh. and uh, and take Percocet and 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 and, and telemarket mortgages <laughs> in the tri-state area. There was a lot of fun in I, that in that crack house. I hear <laughs> there were a lot of positive people. I mean, I know. I mean, genuinely positive. I know you mean Gen this, though. Genuinely, <laughs> like genuinely this. grateful and positive <laughs> people, like. There were people there that if you gave them a cigarette would act like you paid for their college. <laughs> if I come to you right now, let's go back. You're the you're a mortgage broker in Long Island. I meet you in a diner, which is you call your office. The Imperial yeah. Diner in Freeport. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, you go. We gotta make it real. Yeah. So it's the Imperial <laughs> Diner in Freeport on Merrick Road. <laughs> Yeah, you say meet me at the office, and you. I hear you. Wait, hang hey, up. We'll spill hot coffee on you by mistake. And look at you and go. Yeah, yeah. And when you tell me to meet you at your office, I hear the clang of a payphone when you hang up. Yeah. And so yeah. I, I meet your office. I come in. I say, Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you, Mr. Dylan. Me and my wife just got married. Um, you know, I'm a comedian. I, I saved up about 80k. Um, I, you know, she wants to live. In, we're having a baby. She wants Mr. to live Poppers, on the island. You got Mr. Pop. I'm very glad. Can I get a loan? Not only can you get a loan, but let me let me tell you something. Yeah. How much of that eighty k are you prepared to spend on the property? I don't know, uh, D Mr. Dillon. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty conservative guy. I saved every single dollar right. from my more recent how much shows. You, how much are you prepared to spend? Um, hold on. Let me go into Maurice's brain. No, 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 no. Of that eighty thousand, how much would you like to spend? Are I, you willing to spend all of it? I, I'm willing to spend. I'm willing to spend about sixty or seventy of it. Mr. Poppins, guess how much of that eighty you're gonna have to spend? How much? Nothing. What? Nothing. You're not going to spend anything because let me explain something to you. Sit down. The wife is lovely. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. Can, wait, can Mr. I get Pappas. A, can I get pancakes while I'm here? Yeah, you can yeah. get anything. The bricks and sticks of your house yeah. appreciate. Uh -huh. The frame, the land, uh -huh. they appreciate value. <laughs> you know what your money does in your house for you, Mr. Pappas? It does absolutely nothing. Right. You know what the wealthiest people do with real estate, Mr. Pappas? Right. A lot of them finance it. Why? Because your mortgage is your only tax write-off. It is the only write-off. It is your only fucking weapon against the federal government. The larger the loan you take, the better it is for you financially. And you take that $80,000, and, and I'm not wrong, by the way, and you put, well, I'm a little, and you put it in tax-exempt securities like Roth IRAs. Mr. Pappas, you maximize the amount of, of tax-exempt retirement accounts that you put your money in with that eighty thousand dollars you make it work for you you do not sink it into a house yes or yes so the reality is this we're taking the biggest loan possible <laughs> that mr poppas will set 
you free. <laughs> now sign this piece of paper for Christ. And at that point, you and your wife are crying. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we sign papers, then you, you go die. But how do you get the loan from the bank? <laughs> They're well, giving I mean, away. Back in the day, what are we doing? We're talking about now or back in the day? No, back, back in the day. day. Yeah, back in the doing? day and go to the bank. I said, Kelly, <laughs> we got one. And Kelly, I said, Mr. Pappas and his wife, Brittany's from Long Island. They want to go buy a piece of marble hunk of shit. <laughs> And Kelly has got coke running down her nose from last night. She's got a fucking double tall non-fat latte from Starbucks non-fat. She's not getting anyone. I've been really um, excited. And I think that is the right word by the amount of people who are uh, outing themselves as problematic. And I've been, I've been excited by it. Because I think that's the first step to really healing and creating an equitable society. The first step is for people to come out. Um, Jenny Slate, comedian, writer, uh, the show Big Mouth. Uh, Jenny Slate is a white woman. And she played the role of a character named Missy on Big Mouth an animated show on Netflix. And Missy was a mixed race character who had a Jewish white mother like Slate and a black father. I mean, clearly we're looking at Missy here. Missy is clearly black, even though she's mixed race, but you know. Jenny Slate has recused herself from the show and she's leaving because she said um, black characters should be played by black people. I don't think that's enough. Okay? She's contributed to the erasure of black people. She, and she's said that. She said she erased a black person. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what futuristic weapon, what ray gun she used to erase a black person. But I don't think it's enough to just say sorry and go back to your mansion. No, thank you, ma'am. Jenny Slate has to go to jail. She has to be brought up on charges and she has to go to jail for no less than 10 years <laughs> for what she did. This is not a fucking joke. Stop laughing, you white pig. She needs to hear every night. She needs to hear the bars clink. She needs to lose her freedom. What has she done with her freedom? She's used it to erase black people by voicing the character, a mixed race character on Big Mouth on Netflix. No thank, and cancel Big Mouth while we're at it. Good, sorry, Nick Kroll. Cancel Big Mouth. You're going to have to get a job with your family doing security related matters. I'm sorry. I don't I don't want to be this way. But I am. I don't want to be this way, but I am. Jenny said I've come to the decision today that I can no longer play the character of Missy on the animated TV show Big Mouth. At the start of the show, I reasoned with myself that it was permissible to play Missy because her mom is as Jewish and white as am I. But Missy is also black, and black characters on an animated show should be played by black people. I acknowledge how my original reasoning was flawed, that it existed as an example of white privilege and an unjust allowance is made within a system of societal white supremacy, and that me playing Missy was engaging in an act of erasure of black people. Put her in jail now! Put her in jail! Put her in jail! Why is she not in jail? Why are the producers of this show not behind bars? God damn them. God damn her. God, God damn. God, I'm only, I am not, I am only laughing now because I'm so angry that when I laugh, I get, I get, I get angry and I laugh, but I, God damn them. Black lives matter. Do you understand that? They matter on a Netflix cartoon. Put her in jail that Nick Kroll's parents built. 
Not even the uh, not even a, a I mean an underground <laughs> prison. What do we not know what they do? Use Google, dummies. I get it. She's got to go to jail. A secret underground facility where she can be re-educated. Mm -hmm. Not my fault. I want to hold people accountable. They're being held accountable this week. That's it. No more games this week. Tim is here to hold everyone accountable. For too long, I've sat on the sidelines while cartoonists have destroyed the fabric of American society. We cannot tolerate this anymore. Most importantly, though, Jenny says, to anyone that I've hurt, I am so very sorry. Oh, I bet that feels good. I am so very sorry. How many people have killed themselves because of this? How many lives have ended because of your show? I bet it's unquantifiable. How many people killed themselves, put a gun in their mouth, <laughs> jumped off a building, cut their own throat, maybe their wrist, OD'd on pills, took a hairdryer and electrocuted themselves in the tub? asphyxiated themselves, hung themselves. I bet all of these black people that are dying tragically with nooses, they are hanging themselves because they found out that Missy was voiced by Jenny Slate. That is, that is a hypothesis I have. It is not proven. It is a hypothesis, but I think it's pretty damn good. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking Ms. Slate, Ms. Slate, and the and the producers of Big Mouth to turn themselves in to the military. Not even the LAPD, those corrupt <laughs> bastards. No, the military to be to have a tribunal. <laughs> and we need a military tribunal in this case. <clears throat> and they will not have a jury of their peers. They will be tried by a jury of, of people that are selected the people that have been affected. And the death penalty is not off the table. <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna be, I'm not, but it, it, is, it is a tool and it should be available to the prosecution. They don't